I know that this video is a little bit different, but please just bear with me. <laughs> I'm also going to ask that you don't comment on the video until after you you've watched it, because hopefully everything will be answered in this video. Cool? Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So I wouldn't really say that this video is like a more serious video. I'm definitely talking about like a more serious topic and I want you guys to take what I'm saying seriously, but I'm not like, this isn't supposed to be like a serious like or a sad or angry video or anything. It's just supposed to be me kind of just talking about my channel, what it became, like how it got there, what it's going to be, changes that'll happen, etc., etc. So. Let's just hop into it, I guess. So my target demographic is something that has been on my mind for a while because it's never something I've really explicitly talked about. And then the larger my channel grew, the more conscious I became of what type of content I was posting, which can be a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing. It, it, it's a mixed bag. <laughs> and even when I started posting on my channel, I never really thought about like a target demographic, really. I was just going to post whatever I felt like it and then whoever came, came and that's, that's it. <laughs> for a long time, I was under the impression that a lot of my audience was roughly 15 years old, give or take. I did look at my analytics and only about 20% of my audience is under the age of 18. Now granted, that's not entirely accurate because people can lie about their age and analytics aren't always 100% correct. So there's that. There's probably more than just that 20%, but I thought that I would sit down and talk about it anyway because I never really intended for minors to be watching my channel. If this is the first video you're coming in on mine. Hi, this is probably a very awkward video for you to watch. And I know I sound like I'm 12, but I am 20 years old. <laughs> I didn't intend like younger people to watch my channel. So I guess I'll talk about how I got that audience first and then how I've been censoring myself and what will change. So let's start with how it happened. First of all, it's just because the internet, a lot of pe young people are on the internet, a lot of kids are on the internet, it just happens, it's fine. That's not really something I can control. I think another reason that some younger people are watching me is because of the way I look and sound, which again, it's not something I can really control. A lot of people don't know that I'm 20. <laughs> like subscribers of my channel know and people who have stuck around know that I'm 20 years old, but people just coming to my channel usually don't think I'm any older than 16. I don't show my face super often on this channel, but my face looks pretty young. My voice can sound pretty young to a lot of people. And so I guess that just attracts younger people, I guess. <laughs> of course, another reason is like younger people wanting to find artists to look up to, which is very sweet. And, and I know that I am that for a lot of people, which is why this is kind of a conflicting video for me to make. And kind of another, another, another thing. <laughs> And I guess another reason that that kind of happened is because of the whole art dad thing, which here's the thing, here's the origin of that. If you don't know, it was completely an accident. <laughs> the whole reason it started is because of my Help Me Art Dad series. The name of that series was literally the last thing to occur. <laughs> the whole concept of it, if you are unaware, is you guys will post a character that you have, like an original character that you have, to a hashtag on Instagram. And so the whole concept of the video is I look for the hashtag and look at your characters that you guys ask for character design help with. Like if you have a character that you don't know the design of, like if you're still trying to figure that out but you need help. And then I will provide help in that video and it's supposed to not only help those specific people but also just give- it's like it's just it's supposed to be like a fun way for me to teach you guys about character design. Literally art dad came because I needed a hashtag and that was literally it. <laughs> Which to this day, I don't know if I regret doing that or not. Of course, in hindsight, I should have known that that would be something that could attract like a younger audience. I just meant it more in a way that it's like, people can look up to me as an artist rather than a parental figure. But again, hindsight is 2020. <laughs> That's one reason I regret it, I guess. Also another regret of it is that people call me daddy. I did not want that. Especially since a number of my audience is minors. I'm just not into it. I'm really not into it. Please make it stop. This is this is a cry for help. <laughs> when I first created my channel, I was 17 and I was 18 when I started to really take it seriously. And then these past two years, so when I was 19 and 20, those were the two years where it was my job and I was like actively working on making my content better. Let's say from when I first started taking my channel seriously to now, ages 18 through 20. Whenever I would post videos, I guess I just kind of assumed that everybody watching my videos would be the same age as 
me. When my channel started to get bigger and my first reach over a thousand subscribers was when I was 18. But I just kind of assumed that people my age were finding my channel and watching it. I didn't really think about like the younger people who might be watching. And that is a thought that became more and more prominent in my head as I had continued making content. I don't think anybody who has watched my videos would really call me like a quote unquote family friendly channel, I guess, but I'm also not super explicit on my channel. Like I swear a lot, that's something that happens. It's, it just happens. <laughs> I mean, I grew up in New York, what do you expect? And I have made a couple of like risque jokes here and there. And when I first brought this up to you guys, my lovely followers, a lot of you guys were saying that I was more of just like casual and like a person, which I think is definitely how I would describe how my channel has been. But there are definitely some things that I would keep from my channel, I guess. And there are more like adult sides of me, I guess, that I haven't, I don't express on the channel. And basically the whole point of this video is for me to talk about that. So then that way I can I can post stuff without feeling guilty, basically. <laughs> I know that there is like a significant part of my audience that were minors and like as an adult, it feels odd to make like more adult jokes or make more adult art and post on this channel where I know those people will be seeing it. And back when I was like, let's say 16, I'll just keep going back to that age, I guess. When I was 16-ish, like those are things that I was interested in. And I think that within that age range, it's a very common thing to be interested in, especially now on the internet where everyone has access to everything. And so a lot of people, when I brought this up, were like, I'm X age and I don't see anything wrong with your content, which I think first off kind of proves my point of how I've been like censoring myself a lot more than I would like. But then too, I get it because <laughs> I was there too. I was interested in some more mature stuff too. And I, again, for that age range, I think it's very common. It just feels very different now as an adult providing that content on the internet or potentially providing that content and knowing what kind of people would be seeing it. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember a little while ago there were some changes to YouTube's regulation because of a whole off soup thing, whatever, but the whole COPPA thing, right? And basically, if you don't know what COPPA is, it's saying that websites and stuff can't get information from people online under the age of 13. YouTube, for example, that was found guilty of it because I guess like through analytics and like monetization and stuff like that, whatever, it's a big messy issue. But basically, there were some changes made to the algorithm where now you have to set your video videos or your channel to being for a certain age group. All there is is that you have to say is it made for kids or not and my whole channel is set to not made for kids but also that doesn't mean that people younger than that won't see my channel. When I first brought this up to you guys on my community tabs which are still up by the way you can go read those if you're interested. Some people were saying like is this because of things that we were saying in the video premiere which no but if anything in that premiere did make me really want to talk about this is like people were talking about what age they were which by the way, if you are a minor, you should not do. <laughs> I mentioned earlier people lie about their ages all the time. They can say that they're older, they can say that they're younger. One, don't lie about your age. But two, if you are under the age of 18, don't tell people how old you are. That's, that could be very dangerous. I know my community here on this channel is very loving, very caring and protective, but just don't do that. <laughs> just, just a little tip from me. But if anything, within that premiere, when everyone was sharing what ages they were, they were, some people were like 16, like I was saying earlier, but then it got even younger, like 14, and then 12, and then 10. And just like, just thinking about the type of content I want to share. The type of content that I would like to make, such as like certain jokes I want to make or like sharing not safe for work art, which I don't even think I've ever said on this channel, but yes, I do like making not safe for work art. But like, I feel like I can't share that on this channel knowing that there are people that young who are watching that stuff. Just knowing that there are some people who are like 10 and 12 watching my channel, it doesn't feel comfortable for me to do that. And another thing that a lot of people in my my age were saying when I first brought this topic up is saying that like it's not really your fault and like if kids find something that they're not supposed to find on the internet that's not your fault and I know that and I guess that's the part that I really have to come to terms with. It's just stressful because I have a guilty conscience. <laughs> but on the other hand even if I didn't I do think that it is my responsibility as a content creator to 
be honest about this sort of stuff, I guess. And so I, that's why I felt the need to make this video, just to be clear of like what my intentions are with posting more like mature content and more 18 plus content. It is not my intention to spread that to anybody who was not supposed to see it. And one concern that I got a lot is, do you want people under the age of 18 to unsubscribe from your channel? And in a perfect world, yes, because in a perfect world, I would not have to worry about this. But I know that we do not live in a perfect world. Like I mentioned earlier, people will lie about their age. Not a good thing. Again, don't do that. But it, it happens. Some people can lie and say that they're younger and some people can lie and say that they're older. I don't have any statistics to back this up, but just a hunch I have that it's more common for younger people to lie and say that they're older, especially because certain like websites and everything will have restrictions or not allow you access unless you're above a certain age. I think even Gmail has this. I think you have to be like 13 or something to even create an account there. Even if it's just a random person commenting on my channel, like there's no way for me to know who that person is. I don't know who they are. I don't know if they're 18 or not. And then there's also the issue of like, not everything that I post will be like 18 plus. That was like another concern that people had. It's like, what will change about your channel? As a short answer, not much. I'm still going to be sharing a lot of the art that I've been sharing and I'm still going to have like the same personality, obviously, because I'm the same person, <laughs> but mostly on just like the art side and like sharing my more not safe for work art and stuff like that. That's definitely going to be changing and I want to include more of that into my channel. But then at the same time, it's like not everything I draw is going to be that. And that's why I'm saying like in a perfect world, people 18 plus are the only people who are watching my channel. So then that way in the future, whatever I do want to share those things. Like if I make something that's more not safe for work in my sketchbook and I film that sketchbook tour, I don't have to worry about younger people watching that and I don't have to feel afraid to draw that stuff. My target audience is people 18 plus, not because everything I make from now on is going to be 18 plus, but because I don't want to have this heavy feeling of guilt of me wanting to share my sense of humor that's more mature or my art that's more mature and stuff like that. So like not everything I'm going to be posting is going to be like super explicit, right? But then also like there's like the different ratings of things where there's like the four kids and then like family friendly and then like PG-13 and then there's four older teen and then 18 plus slash explicit slash mature, whatever the heck you want to call it. And like, I think a lot of my content, I think it could fit into most of those sections. And so people who see more like mild content might see that and enjoy it, but then not know that later on, like I'll be posting not safe for work content. And I know that in the future, I'm going to have to continue to worry about this stuff. And it sucks. And I wish I didn't have to. That's why I said in a perfect world, my audience would be completely people 18 plus. So then I don't have to worry about it. And so just what's going to be changing for my channel. A lot of the content I'm going to be posting is the same. You can expect a lot of similar content. I might make comments or talk about things that are like more mature sometimes. Again, not everything is going to be that way, but I'm going to be censoring myself less. And if there is anything too explicit, of course, I'll put some sort of warning before it because that's just common courtesy. There are even people older than 18 who just aren't interested in that stuff and that's totally fine. But also that being said, like there are still regulations I have to follow. Like, not even just here on YouTube, but just on other social media stuff. So if there is anything super explicit that I feel the need to share for whatever reason, it probably will either have it heavily censored or not post it or maybe on a Patreon in the future. Hmm? possible Patreon, possibly. Stay tuned, possibly. Hmm? But I just wanted to be able to post those things without worrying about it. <laughs> I just wanted to put this out there because it was never my intention to have people under 18 watching my channel. And I know in the future, younger people will probably find my channel, much to my dismay, <laughs> but it, it, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, I just wanted to put this out here to kind of ease my guilty conscience. Like I said, in a perfect world, my audience would be only 18 plus people. And then I know also know that there are people who are more on the like edge of it like people who are 17 are like well what about me <laughs> and I totally get it and that's why I'm saying that it's like not as simple as I wish it was I don't know I don't even know if this entire video this video is probably messy but I'm, I'm doing the best I can we all know I'm not good with words so yeah I guess I don't really know what the right answer is <laughs> we can continue this conversation in the comments down below because I feel like I'm not making a whole lot of sense <laughs> in this video Video. But basically, to recap, my target audience is people older than the age of 18. Not 
all of my content is going to be super explicit 18 plus. But basically, the reason my target demographic is people older than 18. It's basically so then in the future, I can share my not safe for work art and I can make jokes that are a little bit more adult without the heavy guilt of there are 12 year olds watching me. <laughs> That's it. That's the gist of this video. I did my best to like organize the points that I wanted to make, but I've recording this audio, I feel like it was a whole garbled mess. So you can let me know how all that went. If you have any questions, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I will do my best to answer them. And I think I should probably end this video because I've been rambling. I feel like I've been rambling and maybe saying a whole lot of nothing. Who knows? I'll edit this audio and see if I have to re-record it. Hell yeah. If you are new here, hello. I'm sorry this is your first video of mine, but my name is Oliver. Hope you're doing well. Feel free to stick around my channel if you want and also if you're 18 plus preferably. <laughs> and feel free to stick around if you want and watch me hopefully get a little bit more comfortable with expressing various parts of myself on this channel. That'd be cool. <laughs> and if you would like to see more from me, you can also follow me on social media, which will be on screen now and linked in the description box below. And you can check out some other videos of mine. That'd be cool. I'd appreciate that. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.